Okay, back with another plane. If you watched the recent video I put out, Glider vs. Gully, you saw some gliders in similar style with the twin tail. Um, and I made this design to be hopefully accessible to people that want to follow along regardless of experience with paper and cardstock and whatnot. Um, I included dimensions for this wood brick in case you can't get your hands on any of those mini craft sticks, but they are pretty inexpensive at your local store um, if they have them. And sometimes, you know, it's good to very lightly score lines uh, where you're going to fold because you can get them really clean and, and crisp, uh, which I did there for the fuselage. Some of the shapes you're going to glue onto chipboard, also available at your local arts and crafts store. Really inexpensive material. It's not good for things like wings, but um, where you have a, a short span and you actually want weight, like in the nose area, um, it's a pretty useful material. And there you see I'm just gluing the wood brick uh, to the inside of the nose, lining it up, pinching the nose, and then moving on to the wing. Glued those three strips on the top and then used this technique to give the wing some under camber, which is going to, in theory, um, with the sort of air airfoil shape, is going to give it more lift. And also it helps make the wing more rigid from uh, or across the span. Couple of strips on the bottom to add more rigidity and lock the angles into place and then I moved on to the, the twin tail itself which is pretty simple as you can see in the pictures and as that was drawing added this strip over the nose and um, you can trim it if it's a little too wide and then you add a couple of pieces to the sides of the nose. When mounting the wing as with um, mounting the tail which I actually forgot to show just make sure it's as centered as possible and try to get it really perpendicular to the fuselage. Moving on to the canopy, which is a little bit fiddly. Um, that little rectangle of chipboard goes on the inside and forms kind of a base. And then um, you have the back piece and these thin strips to basically just decorate it. And hopefully it turns out symmetrical because that's going to be really important for a good flight. There you see two different tail designs. Um, the plans have what I hope is a happy medium between the two. And I struggled a little bit with some windy days, but still had a lot of fun. And if you make one, I hope you have a lot of fun too. And enjoy some flights. Take care.